Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 43 and in this video I want to talk about forms in JavaScript. Alright then guys, as you can see I've made a really simple form here in the HTML which is over here in the browser and this is a form with an ID of my form. I've also given it a name of my form and within that we've got some different inputs each with a name attribute. Okay, we've also got a select with a name attribute too. Now in this tutorial, I want to show you how we can grab hold of those elements from JavaScript. And once we've grabbed all of them, I want to show you the different properties and methods we have access to on them. All right, so we could always go in and grab this form using the ID with the document.get element by ID method. But there is another way to get these form elements. And that is by using the document.forms object. So if we wanted to grab this form, all we'd do is say document.forms and then dot the name of your form, which is right here. So I'll type my form. And that is going to return to me my form, just like get element by ID would if I entered this ID. All right, so what I would normally do is store this in a variable so that if I ever wanted to access the properties or uh, inner elements from this form, all I ever have to do is write the variable name. So we'll do that. We'll say var my form equals, and then we'll copy this and paste it. And now if I call my form, it will return to me this element exactly the same as this. Cool. So likewise, we can access each element from inside the form by using my form now dot and then the name of the element that we want. So let's return back this one right here, which is an input tag with the name of name. Press enter and that returns this input right here. You can see it highlighted up there. OK, now I have access to the properties on that input. So I could say my form dot name dot value. And that is going to return an empty string at the minute. But if I put in here ninja and do the same again, now it will return the string ninja. OK, cool. I can access the value of other elements as well. I've selected blue right there. So now if we say my form dot um, it's called color dot value, this should return blue. Yep, it does. Awesome. Now then, I want to show you a couple of methods that we have access to also. And the first one I want to show you is the onFocus method. Now, something is on focus when you click on it, generally speaking, in a form. So if I click on this input right here, you can see the blue line around it. That kind of signifies that this is focused. So that is on focus, and that's considered an event in JavaScript. And we can run functions or do things when this event happens. Likewise, if I click this one, this one is now on focus, and this one is now considered blurred because we've not focused it anymore. We've kind of gone away from it. All right. So let's do a on focus event for this input. All we do is say my form dot name because that's the name of this input right here and then we'd say dot on focus equals a function and then within this function we're going to give this element a border a thick blue border or a thick pink border eh? let's do that make it nice and manly we'll say my form dot name and then we're going to access the style and then we'll say uh, border equals four pixels, solid and pink. All right, let's do that. And then when we click this now, you can see that pink border inside. Awesome. Now, if I click on here, this is still pink, this border. I don't want that to happen. I want it so that when you click away and this is no longer in focus, in other words, it's blurred, then this border should go away. Now there's another event called on blur, which can do this. All right, so let's do that. Let's say, get that function right back there. And by the way, I just pressed the up key to get the most recent thing that I've entered, which I did there. And then I'll change this to on blur. And then I'll say this to be none. Press enter. And then this time I'll make it in focus. Then I'll click away and then it's taken off the border completely. Awesome. So there is one other method I want to show you, and that's on the form 
itself right here this element okay and it is the on submit method so that normally happens when we click the submit button right there and what would normally happen is it would communicate with the server and on uh, the server it would do some kind of validation and then bring back a result but you can kind of interrupt that process by using the on submit uh, event and you could do something like client side validation where you just check that all the input fields have been entered correctly or something has been entered where it should be. Now, I'm not gonna go through that in this lesson. I'm gonna save that for the next lesson um, and we'll go through a simple form validation then. In the meantime, if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise guys, please share, subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next one.